Well, well, we don't know what, what your level of tinnitus is. Um, uh, but as I said in my talk, nowadays most people try to adjust the level of the therapeutic sound, and not necessarily white noise, could be other kinds of sounds, but adjust it so it has a similar loudness to the tinnitus, and that is what seems to work best. As I say, we're lacking hard clinical evidence. Um, with regard to duration, it, it depends. Uh, I mean, many people uh, have used low-level sounds for long periods of time during the day. Others just use the sounds to help them to get to sleep. So I think it's very much an individual thing. Yeah, exactly, and I, I may add that um, the, um, in the past we used to offer uh, sound uh, generator devices, but in the last five years we, we no longer. But at the time that we were offering them, and the protocol for them is usually uh, the, the, the therapy that involved those uh, devices lasted two years. So, and then the idea was that by the end of that second year, you give up using those uh, devices. It never meant to be something that you can use permanently. 